everyone, welcome back to our show and to, today we have a very special guest. We've got Cyril in the house, the CEO and founder of Tume. Welcome Hello. Cyril. It's really great to have you here. Thank you so much. I'm excited and nervous at the same time because I really, it feels so surreal to be sitting right next to you. So thank you thank so you much. Thank you very much for thank coming. You. No problem. My okay, pleasure. so can you take us back in time? Um, what was the inspiration behind Tume? I was very young and my brother is six, uh, nine years older than me. <clears throat> so from very young I am into uh, video games and all those things. Yeah. And it's very connected to uh, Japanese animation finally with Dragon Ball and all those things. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I really wanted to stay into this industry when I uh, would be older. Mm -hmm. So I tried to be an uh, electrician but I was really bad. <laughs> so <laughs> I decided to change and uh, then uh, Becoming kind of a seller of um, importing uh, imported products oh, from yeah. Japan. Okay. It starts uh, like this, and finally I uh, opened my uh, my own brand oh, wow. because I was very uh, inspired, and uh, I was thinking that there was nothing based on shonen, uh, Japanese shonen like Naruto, yeah. or One Piece in very high quality, mm -hmm. and uh, I really wanted to try. Okay, so. Tsume, how did you come up with that name? How did you come Tsume, up with that name? Tsume means uh, claw in uh, okay. Japanese. Uh -huh. And real name is Tora no Tsume. Tora no Tsume is a uh, claw of the tiger. Oh. So that's why the, the logo is a tiger. Uh, oh, but it was okay. too long, Tora no Tsume, so Tsume is nice. And Tsume means also uh, when you put a claw on something in French, yeah. it means put a sign, you know, put oh, your own style, okay. you know, so to me it was really nice for all of this. Oh, wow, that's that's really amazing. So, what makes your figures so special and unique from different from other uh, figures out there? Globally, from the beginning, I think it's based much more on the quality, mm -hmm. uh, but change slowly, we try to uh, uh, increase our level based on our passion, mm -hmm. so we always try to find a very good scene yeah. Um, a good moment, yeah. something uh, needs to happen with your heart when yeah. you look at our product. Mm -hmm. uh, it's uh, the, the perfect moment, something you must uh, uh, show the, the, the passion, the feelings, the emotions. Yeah, because the you can actually see the, the passion, the, the feeling in the, exactly. the figure. Exactly. That really makes it special. So, what is your first piece? Which one was your first piece? Uh, first Ga piece you Gara from Tsume is the first one we, uh, we have done based on Naruto license. And um, we have made the first one prototype, which was not so good, <laughs> but uh, yeah. uh, that was the very beginning. So we just uh, began the, the 3D printing. Mm -hmm. You know, 10 years ago, 3D printing was not like this. Yeah, now. Yeah. But uh, in the past, we tried. Uh, we were the, maybe the first one to try on uh, Japanese animation, okay. and then the, all the uh, licensors told us, "Yeah, that's not so bad." So ah. let's move on the license. Oh, okay. So how long does it take you to make a figure? Let's say it's a, it's a huge figure. How long does it take? There are two big uh, phases. Phase one is uh, prototyping, conception. Yeah, yeah. It can go from three months to six months. Oh. And then when the prototype is done, mm -hmm. after we have all the engineering, the uh, preparation, uh, the uh, factory uh, production, all those things, yeah. and then it can be one one year, one year and a half, depending on what kind of product we do. Oh, yeah. wow. And when, <laughs> you, when you make uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 units, mm -hmm. as you can see, this kind of uh, uh, units, yeah. if you uh, put it on the table, mm -hmm. it takes a lot of time, yeah. a lot of space to make it, to arrange it, and uh, mm -hmm. imagine this one, 2,000 2, units, how many tables you need for that. Oh my God. So you cannot make it in one time. You have okay. to make it by session of 200, 200, 200 or 300. 200. Yeah. So it's why in, uh, normally we begin to send in January, we finish maybe uh, six months later. Oh, okay. So how many pe roughly how many people uh, work on, a, on a, just one figure? Uh, approx 20 people, I would say. You know, at the beginning it was two people. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. uh, now we are... Uh, we have more people, more specialized, many little things, mm -hmm. little things. Yeah, <laughs> you get that? You get that. <laughs> uh, advertise time. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, now finally we have more people and 
you know, for example, my painters come from, from a lot of uh, different um, style of painting. Mm -hmm. Some are doing an airbrush, some yeah. are painting miniatures, mm -hmm. some are making uh, tags on the wall, yeah. uh, some are making portraits. So it's all handmade, everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. So that makes it really special. Exactly. So how do you choose a figure? For example, how the, the character... The design, you... you yeah, yeah, the, the design, character. How, yeah, how do you pick that? Globally, it's based on our art. Oh. Yeah, I, I have the, the opportunity to, to stay the boss of the company for yeah. now. <laughs> uh, so I can do uh, globally whatever I want. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, some people of my team are very passionate by, by what they do, mm -hmm. by the license, so they propose very good things. That's mm -hmm. the case of Sasuke, for example, mm -hmm. the, the last one. Yeah. Uh, somebody from the team was very inspired and wanted to propose something, and uh, it was really nice. Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, I have something in my mind that I want to do that because for me it's very strong moments yeah. and uh, it means a lot of things. Okay. <laughs> uh, I will talk about, for example, um, All Might Studio. Mm -hmm. uh, we have um, made a pre-order three months ago, I think, or two months ago. There is a character which is giving a punch. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called the uh, United States of Smash. Ah. Uh, and uh, the statue is great, for example because there are a lot of uh, power inside it mm -hmm. but there are uh, another meaning because this is the last fight of this character mm -hmm. before he gave his power to somebody else so there is also the transmission you know like yeah. from father to son mm -hmm. always you try to, to so you capture those moments exactly to, to explain yeah. with a second meaning what, what, what it is and that's the reason why we, we always try with to me to push a lot of heart and passion and that's a, I think that's the key of success of Tsume, it's not only quality, it's what what there is behind that, you know. Yeah. Oh wow, that's, that's really fantastic, <laughs> that's really amazing. So which one is your most valuable figure? Very you difficult to, to say. <laughs> which one? It's difficult. I will say with my heart, mm -hmm. it's a Piccolo is protecting Gohan, mm -hmm. because uh, that's a bad character, mm -hmm. you know. and. Uh, He's learning love, yeah. so he's uh, thinking about uh, this is the son of my uh, my, my best enemy, mm -hmm. and finally he changed his mind because he, he learned how to to love somebody. So he protect he protect the son of uh, his enemy and die for him. That's so beautiful. Wow. That's also big meaning the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You know, that's so strong for me that uh, uh, wow. I really enjoy it. So. Is that like your favorite uh, figure? For what it means, favorite? yeah. For what it means, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so talking about uh, Comic Con, yeah. uh, how was the experience, the whole experience for you? That's great to see so many people interested by our statues, by our, uh, also manga and comics, that's uh, crazy. Yeah. Thank you for coming in, uh, in our booth uh, with the little things one more time. It was uh, really special for us because this is the first time we are coming here. Yeah. We are very... Uh, we were very excited because uh, uh, Tsume is already known here, yeah, famous. Yeah, and you know, uh, for us that's strange, we are far from here, so <laughs> each time we see people who know us, we are like crazy. You know? Yeah, Ooh. and we were so crazy <laughs> when we knew you were coming, so we are like, yes! So, yes, so we very cool, to. very cool. <laughs> we have to, to redo it, for sure. Oh, yeah. So you launched a new product, the yeah. Sasuke. Sasuke. Yeah. Okay, so what was the inspiration behind that one? Um, we uh, already done his brother, which, which is uh, Hitachi, and he has his uh, awesome Susano uh, uh, with the statue. We really wanted to capture the right uh, moment with him, giving some dynamic. It was very difficult because there, there is something transparent yeah. there, and it's very difficult to make a movement of Sasuke. Mm -hmm. So we tried to uh, experiment that, mm -hmm. and I think finally, uh, with the success of the statue, we did it. So thank yeah, you one more time to all the so people who sold really out amazing. in uh, sold out in 20, uh, 12 hours, 12 hours, something like that, or 24 <coughs> hours. But so that's crazy, 2,500 units, crazy. Ah, they were all sold out. Sold out, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So what about those that need? What about those that need? You know, the, the chance to do they get to order or something? Or Sorry, I don't understand. The ones that you say the pieces were all sold out. Yeah. Yeah, on, the, on the website, mm -hmm. we made the pre we made the pre-order, yeah. and we have about uh, uh, two thousand five units to sell. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it can take one month, 
-hmm. Sometimes it takes less than this, so this time it was 24 hours or something like that. So it's crazy. And I think Comic Con helped a lot also. Yeah, and, and the whole world was just waiting for this new, yeah, 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 yeah. new product. Everyone yeah. was really That's excited crazy. and waiting That's crazy. for it. And the, 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 <laughs> there is a waiting list if you still want the statue, or you can also find some in the, the little things one more time. Yes. Ooh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be paying after that. <laughs> so, what's your. So, I, I understand that uh, Comic Con was your first stop uh, on your For world, the tour. world tour. Yeah. yeah. So, what's your. Where, where to next? Normally, we are going uh, in uh, Shanghai, in China. Ah. So, it is the next stop. And uh, wow. yeah, that will be awesome also because we have a big fan base, so mm -hmm. uh, it's not uh, officially announced, but uh, so it's an exclusivity. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, where do you see Tumei in the next 10 years? Uh, <laughs> that's very difficult for me because I have so many things yeah, to so do uh, <laughs> just for the next year, then mm -hmm. uh, it's very difficult to, to say that. but. What I can say is that we are working on our own manga. Mm -hmm. We are making our own, our own creations, oh, wow. uh, our comics. Mm -hmm. So I really believe a lot into uh, those, those manga because oh. uh, I am writing one of the story. Oh. Uh, also, we have many talented people mm -hmm. drawing, uh, making the story, and I really believe a lot into us. Our series. We are putting a lot of money, a lot of uh, energy, mm -hmm. a lot of heart, yeah. and I think it will be uh, huge. It will be free oh. on the website, on a, um, an app, sorry, we'll make a app called oh. Tsume app, so you can be uh, able to uh, to read it online, okay. directly on your mobile. Yeah, yeah, uh, normally, normally it will be available from January uh, next year. Oh wow, we can't wait for that. <laughs> so, this is the major point I would say, and we continue to work hard <laughs> on the statue. We have a lot of uh, new announcements to, to do soon. Yeah, so there's a lot coming up. And we will not only focus on manga. It's, it's, that's uh, major news. Oh, wow. We will work on comics also soon. Okay, so you, figurines are not the only thing that you specialize in. Yeah. What are other brands? Uh, what other things that are. We have a brand, a uh, fashion brand called Iki. Iki. Uh, it has a lot of success, success here. Oh, Some okay. people are making the promotion. <laughs> She does not understand that she is not on the camera. So yeah, she doesn't me. understand. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that's uh, that's also a huge success. Uh, mm -hmm. I think in the Comic Con for you. So we are we are very happy. And there is also the board game um, brand, which is called uh, Yoka. Okay. We are working also on many famous licenses. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are many other things that uh, are in Comic. So should we should we expect or look forward to uh, planning on having any DC or Marvel figures in the future? That's possible, yeah. It's possible. That's very possible. Oh wow! There is very possible. <laughs> room, yeah. Uh, it's so possible. So let's keep our hopes up. It's coming. Yeah, we right? want to show what we have. Uh, <laughs> We have inside yeah. for that also because we we worked a lot on manga. Mm -hmm. Now it's it's a time to show what we got on uh, comics. Oh. Yeah. After right. ten years, it's the right moment. Oh, okay. So we're gonna play a little game. Yeah, because everyone who comes here always has to play a game. Yeah. Okay. Is that your poker face? Be okay? <laughs> okay. So this game is called Would You Rather? That's just a... Uh, you figure it out. Would you rather live in a world of magic or superhero? A superhero. Oh, yeah. wow. Really? Would you rather drink one gallon of ketchup or mustard? <laughs> mustard. 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 Yeah. You got mustard right here. <laughs> you wanted it right away. Oh. <laughs> I can do it if you want to. <laughs> so, would you rather live in Gotham City or Wakanda? You watch Black Panther, right? Go Gotham City. Gotham City. Yeah, I would. I would love to. Oh. So I will be half bad and half good, you know. One day, uh, one day bad, one day good. A superhero, one day a villain. It yeah. will be so nice. And most most of the people that come here, they want to be villains. They like we are so done being good people. We just want to be a villain for a whole week. Oh, we just want to be a villain for a day, you know. They just want to. I would be. I would be twice. You would be both. Yeah, both. Because 
what is interesting is that I could make a great story between my two characters. Very good fight without fighting. I will be <laughs> a hero and a super villain. <laughs> We're doing nothing. <laughs> Would you rather fight uh, Wonder Woman or Black Widow? Both, same time. Wow, you must be some Superman. Yeah, we, 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 I'm writing <laughs> stories, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you're the man of many talents. So yeah, exactly. yeah. Okay, so would you rather be uh, a billionaire or a genius? That's difficult because that's a question where you cannot be humble. So I would say uh, I would prefer to stay uh, like like this. Yeah, and, and then just be a genius. <laughs> not, <laughs> not be a genius, but uh, learn every day. Because when you're uh, a genius, you don't have to learn. Yeah. So that's yeah. not that's not cool. And when you're a billionaire, you, you, you don't fight for you fight for nothing. Nothing. Yeah, you just there because you. Because I would I would not be, uh, want to be a billionaire because if I was billionaire, I would like to give my money to people so I don't care also so, so I don't I, I don't uh, that, that, I don't give an answer very, for that. That's a very good reason. That's a very good one. Um so would you rather talk to all the animals or speak every language on earth? Speak every language of earth is very cool. That's cool right? Yeah. Yeah. So which language that's a which power. language would you rather learn first? Um, I would say uh, Japanese, I think. Yeah. Because I, I am going a lot in Japan, mm -hmm. Ch Chinese. Yeah. Uh, all the language are very cool. You know, yeah. when when you're you're coming here and you see many people uh, uh, talking different language, you just want to go and say, hey, <laughs> I talk the same language. Don't you? <laughs> yeah, and then when they expect, when they actually think that you don't understand what they are talking about, yeah, then yeah. you just boom, yeah, yeah I got you. <laughs> I'm the boss. <laughs> yeah. So would you rather be Spider-Man for a day or Captain America for a day? Uh, <laughs> it's very difficult this question, it's very difficult. I would say Spider-Man because he can make some huge things, things very cool. Captain America... It's just there, it's just... Uh, it's no, no, no real superpower. <laughs> they, make, they, they all make believers he has a superpower, but he don't have. He, does, he really doesn't have. Just super jump or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Not enough, not enough. Quite flexible. That's very well. cool. Here in Dubai, Spiderman. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Cool. <laughs> oh my God! So would you rather wear a flowing cap or a cat suit? Cat suit. Mm -hmm. Oh, you would rather wear a cat suit. Okay, uh, a cape. Ah, okay. Okay. Would you, um, which superpower would you rather have? Telepathy, sorcery, or super speed? Super speed is cool. Super speed. Yeah, telepathy. You you, you can have it if you work a lot. You can think by watching the people in their eyes or all those things, the, the movements. You can mm -hmm. you can check. What do you think? Can you read mine? Yeah. Really? No, don't do that. Don't do that. I will not do that. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. <laughs> That's so amazing. Okay, Siru, so it was really nice having you Thanks here. So thank much. you very much for coming and thank, thank you. you very much for coming to our show. You made it super special. <laughs> It was so cool. Thank yeah, you guys. Thanks. So thanks to Bye. <laughs> thanks, Wendy. Yeah. Guys, thank you very much. Join us again next week. Till then. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>